hi guys i'm back again today with another video and today we're checking out why japan is hollowing out a mountain we don't know why they're making it hollow but let's find out so before we start don't forget to subscribe click the bell button let's get it something huge is being constructed in a remote corner of japan it's costing over half a billion dollars and is the biggest of its kind in oh, the world. Make a railway. It's been in development for over 20 years. It's oh, over okay. 80 meters high That's and it. nearly 70 meters wide. But you're not going to spot it very easily because this enormous structure is hidden deep in the landscape, quite literally. And when it's finished, it'll look something like this. So just a couple of simple questions. What is it? And why are they hollowing out a mountain to build it? That doesn't look like what I... Okay, now before we go any further with this video, we're going to need to do a quick science lesson. So notebooks open and pay attention at the back. Our universe is made up of tiny subatomic particles such as quarks, bosons, and smallest of them all, neutrinos. Neutrinos act in strange ways. They fly through space, but don't interact with any other matter. Billions of them move through your body all the time without having any effect on you at all. Now, if we understood how that happened, it could fundamentally change how we think about the universe. But as you'd probably guess, with the smallest particles in the universe, they're quite hard to spot. One way of detecting them is by smashing larger particles together at high speeds and recording the reaction. That's what's happening over at the Large Hadron Collider in CERN. Another way to observe them is just by listening. Which is about as easy as it sounds. Ideally, you need somewhere remote, quiet, and very peaceful. Fortunately, Japan is pretty good at that. This is but Kamioka, a small town in the Japanese... Like, yeah, they have so many, like, forests and whatnot, but it's creepy especially when we're going up to mount fuji not necessarily the peak but you know somewhere in the middle um it's creepy it's very nice and scenic and quiet but then our freaking tour guide said okay if you look to your right was it our right or left whatever uh that is the s word forest where people go as themselves right and i was like <laughs> And if you see a ribbon that is tied to the tree, it means that they put it there so people can find their way out. Especially if they decide to not S-word themselves after. And I'm like, I can see the freaking red ribbons, yes. I was creeped out. I was like, oh, this is so nice. Oh, you can go like hiking, you can walk, it's peaceful. And then he tells us that and I'm like, hell to the freaking no. But anyways, let's move on. Japanese Alps, and this is Mount Nijugo, home to the Hyper Cameo Candy. It's a $600 million science experiment led by the University of Tokyo and supported by researchers from 21 countries. When complete, it'll be the largest neutrino observatory in the world and a breathtaking feat for Japan's construction industry. But as incredible as it is, it's actually not the first of its kind. This it. is going to be the third cameo candy in this region. This part of Japan is known for its zinc mining industry, and it was the expertise of a local mining company which, back in 1983, helped construct the first Kamioka Nuclear Decay Experiment, or Cameo Candy for short. The success of that gave rise to the Super Cameo Candy in 1996 and the Hyper Cameo Candy under construction today. It consists of a huge cylinder carved into mountain rock and accessed by an approach tunnel at the top and a secondary tunnel at the base. It's 88 meters high and 69 meters wide. That's big enough to fit an entire Boeing 747 standing on its end. Now, don't worry, we're going to get on to how it works later, but first off, how do you build something like this in the middle of a mountain? 
Well, plans for the Hyper Cameo Candy go back to 1999. Then, after more than two decades of development, work began in May 2021 on the access tunnel. Using a drill and blast technique, it took just nine months to excavate the two kilometer approach tunnel, which was then sprayed with concrete to create a smoother and more stable surface. This approach tunnel leads to the center of what's gonna become the roof of the observatory. Now, as the observatory sits 681 meters below the mountain peak, a dome structure was created, which was then reinforced by a steel truss to hold the enormous weight of all the rock above it. That was completed in October 2023, and now the team have begun the next stage of the project, blasting down through 71 meters of rock to create the enormous cavern the observatory is going to sit in. This rock is hard work for the construction crews, but it's what makes this site perfect for spotting neutrinos. The density of the rock is the equivalent of this observatory sitting 1.7 kilometers below the surface of I the Earth. I get it now. So this is an observatory to here or I think here. Um, neutrinos. Okay, that's interesting. Then what happens if you hear them? Or I don't think you can see them. Uh, what happens then like is it that important or is it just because it's different so people just want to do it okay let's listen Ocean. that's no problem for the neutrinos which can pass through entire planets with ease but it provides excellent insulation from cosmic rays and other background radiation which could ruin this experiment Drilling is due to complete in 2025, but at that oh, point, soon. there's still going to be a long way to go before it can detect a single subatomic particle. Mm. First, the inside of the cavern is going to be lined with two layers of concrete and, crucially, a waterproof layer. That's because this cavern is set to become the largest tank of water in the world. Once fully watertight, 260 million litres of water are going to be pumped into this enormous cavern. That's nearly four and a half times larger than the world's largest aquarium over at SeaWorld Abu Dhabi. It's going to be flooded from the water table in the mountain and will take about half a year to fill. But oh. as clean as this water is, it undergoes further treatment with UV light and other means to create water so pure it's capable of dissolving metal. Now, the massive tank of water creates the perfect conditions to spot neutrinos in. Time for a bit more science. When neutrinos pass through the tank, occasionally they'll collide with electrons, giving off a weak glow known as Cherenkov radiation. And that is what this whole thing is being constructed to observe. Okay. Tiny glimmers of light in a giant cavern full of water. Okay, makes more sense. Because I'm like, why do you even want to... Like, what is the point? If neutrinos are not going to heal cancer, why are we even wasting our time, right? I mean, well, it's a water tank, and it is epic, and human beings just want to know that it exists, I guess, so they want the proof via the light, and probably the sound, I'm not sure if we're gonna hear it, but that would be nice. I like hearing things. Um, not necessarily, it depends what I'm hearing because it's it can get creepy, but yeah, it's good in the name of science. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, I wish they would use their time and efforts and money to do something else, but hey, do you boo boo? I'm not like maybe this is helpful some way. I just I'm dumb to understand. The Hyper Cameo Candy isn't complete yet, but to get an idea of how it will look, here's its smaller sibling, the Super Cameo Candy, which is less than half the size. Here, the cavern's been drained because engineers are performing maintenance on these photodetectors, the thousands of light sensors that together act as a giant camera. The ones in Super Cameo Candy are so sensitive that a single sensor could detect oh, the light of a torch picture. being used on the moon. Damn. Together, they act as a giant camera that picks out the faint traces of Cherenkov radiation created by reacting electrons. 40,000 of these are being manufactured for the Hyper Cameo Candy, each one almost twice as sensitive as their predecessors and specially designed to withstand the enormous weight of 260,000 tons of water. 
Construction is expected to fully complete in 2026, and the Hypercamia Candy should start detecting neutrinos and performing other experiments by 2027. Now, as cool as all of this is, you might be forgiven for thinking, so what? After all, what has particle physics ever done That's for me? me. What so, have the Romans ever done tell for me. us? Well, what for a starter, know. if you've ever had a medical scan or had a tumour diagnosed, you have particle physics to thank for that, as well as treatments for everything from cancer to AIDS. It's led to great understanding of fluid dynamics, which helps in the construction of long-distance pipelines. Okay, now that you put it that way, I knew it was for something. I mean, I didn't know, but I was assuming, or I was hoping it was for something good, because I'm like, why are we wasting resources for light um but hey if you started with this part i would have been super supportive but now that i know i knew i knew i was dumb okay i, I wasn't in intellectual enough to understand what the fudge we're doing but hey do you boo boo japan that's good hopefully this brings about some medical evolution and thank you in advance um, let's move forward. <laughs> ...and gives us more accurate weather forecasts. <gasps> and I let's see. not forget that it was for a group of particle physicists that Tim Berners-Lee developed a new system for quickly and efficiently sharing information. A system which is enabling you to watch this video right now. Interesting. It's probably pretty fair to say that this is one science experiment that's definitely going to live up to the hype. You can learn more about the Hyper Cameo Candy and other topics on our channel over on the World's Best Construction Podcast, available right now wherever you get your podcasts. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, make sure you subscribe to the B1M. Okay. Um, whilst I'm wasting my life away, some people are actually researching and, you know doing all this beautiful stuff for the world um so i cannot like sit here and complain right um that is beautiful also i really really would love like a yearly update now that i know about this i want a yearly update so i feel like every year we're going to be reacting to like okay in 2025 um, what happened what is the state of the candy was it called a candy? You see me? I, I already forget. The thingy that Japan is building in the mountain, right? Uh, I would really love a follow-up. And I will do that probably in a yearly basis. So anyways, beautiful peeps, thank you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.